Does this keep happening to you? Can't catch a slide to save your life. Are your headlights too often becoming taillights? Are you spinning right round like a record baby? There's got to be a better way! Now there is! With Brake Save! Alright, today we're going to talk about a simple technique that can help you save a slide. It's not the best way to save a slide, um, but it gave me a lot of confidence to uh, when I started doing the Porsche Cup car, um, and hopefully it can help you out too. I learned it from uh, Twitch chat early on when I started racing the Porsche Cup, uh, and it'll work about in any car that has uh, rear wheel drive and no ABS. So no front wheel drive cars, all wheel drive cars, or uh, ABS unless you turn the ABS off. Um, I started trying to do some more research into it um, and how it works, but I couldn't find out a ton about it online. Um, I think that's because I don't know what it's called. Um, we've been calling it Brake Save, uh, but now I've heard it also called Two Pedal ma Magic and uh, mash, the Mash Both Pedals Technique. Uh, if you know what it's really called, leave a comment down below, and I'll pause for a moment here uh, so I can use the YouTube video editor uh, to put some text in with the correct name uh, if we get one. Okay, <laughs> so with that out of the way, uh, we're going to refer to it as uh, Brake Save for the remainder of the video. So what is Brake Save? Uh, it's basically a technique uh, that you can use when the rear of the car is coming around uh, to get the car facing in the correct direction again uh, by giving a healthy amount of both brake and throttle input. Um, we'll go through a demonstration on how to do it here, um, and then we'll talk more about like when to use it and why it works. Okay, to demonstrate how we do this uh, technique, we've set up a little spin here at Hockenheim, and as we come around this corner, we accidentally, accidentally uh, put on too much throttle. So we're putting on too much throttle, and we, hear, we, we start to feel the back end come around. So as we do that, we're going to come off the throttle, as you can see here, as in the, in the, in the inputs, and we're going to put both brake and throttle up to about 80%, and then the, just wait for, the, wait for the front end to come around, and then come off the brakes. It's really simple. So come off the throttle, brake and gas, front end comes around, off the brakes. So when would you want to use this technique? Basically anytime that you're having a spin that you don't have another technique uh, in your toolbox that like counter steer or something like that um, that you'd be able to save the car with. One of the big drawbacks of this technique is it's not fast. Um, you're using a lot of brakes in a section of the track where you'd normally use uh, a lot of throttle. Um, at least that's the most likely place that you're going to end up using it. Um, so you're slowing down when everybody else is speeding up. So there's a good chance you're going to lose a couple of positions. However, personally, given the choice between losing a couple of positions and completely spinning around, or worse yet, going into the wall, I'll choose saving the slide every time. So how does this all work? Um, like I said, I tried to do some research into what's going on here, but I wasn't really able to find anything concrete. So I'm just kind of going off of what I can see is going on here. Um, during a normal slide, we're trying to correct, we're losing traction on the rear wheels, and they continue along the car's direction of travel, while the front wheels still have more grip than the rear ones. Um, so they're not as free to move, therefore they're drugged to the, um, the rear of the car as the rear of the car continues along uh, to where the front used to be. When we use the brake save technique, we're using the throttle to overpower the brakes on the drive wheels and keep them turning while we lock up the front wheels so that they lose all traction. The still spinning drive wheels have a relatively high amount of traction in comparison. We're also transferring a bit of weight to them uh, by being on the throttle a little bit still. Because the front wheels are free to slide in the direction of the car's inertia, while the drive wheels have a relatively higher amount of friction, the front of the car 
comes back in line with our direction of inertia. So there you have it. A maybe new to you technique that'll help you get out of a sticky situation. Like I said before, it's not going to be the best option all the time, but it might be something that'll give you a little bit more confidence to push a little harder, knowing that you have this in your back pocket to help save the day. I would give it a bit of practice and some test sessions before you go out and, and, and try and use it in, uh, in a desperate situation. Uh, that way you, you know you can execute on it. But uh, hopefully this will help some folks out. Uh, if you do know more about the technique than I do, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. I know that there's probably a better like throttle to brake ratio than I use, um, but uh, this is just how I do it and everything. Uh, I'd be glad to hear uh, more about uh, your experiences uh, with this technique if you've used it. Uh, but anyway, hope to see you out there. Bye. Call 1-800-555-SAVE to order your break save today. Available for only three easy payments of a little practice. Look at all these people who used break save. This woman used break save and she seems happy. This man loves break save. Four out of five doctors used break save. We don't know about that other one. This guy used break save and he seems to be an astronaut. Break save will not solve all your problems. Break save will probably lose you a position. The pull down line is not responsible for your results. Your results may vary. Liking and subscribing is not required, but is appreciated.